Welcome to Soluble Tutors. Now, I want to show you how you can pass your physics exam easily. So please take your time, listen to this video and enjoy it. And I bet it with you, you have an excellent result in your GCE. Thank you. On the questions and the topics that YF will set for YF GCE 2024. Now, today I'll be making a video on physics. What are the questions you are expected? What are the topics? that why I could set more questions on for this year 2024 physics why now the method i always use to know those topics as i've done in some of my videos because i've done for mathematics and the, the lights so the method i'm using i always get those topics from yx science like how do i always get it from yx science so let's get to yx science and you see the method i always use so that we can see it together and you see those topics that YF will surely set questions on for this 2024 YF GCE. So I'm already on the YF side. So as you can see, you will see physics. Since I want to speak about physics, let's go to physics. Okay. I have clicked on physics. I'll go down, go down to the most recent years. So we'll be checking the most recent three years. That is 2002, 2002, and we we'll, we we'll check only the private candidate because we are doing our research on uh, GCE. So we uh, click on this. Now looking at it, you have paper two and paper three. That's theory and practical. So we we'll go to the theory. So from there, I go to weaknesses and remedy. Let's see what the chief examiner will have to say. So they said the following were observed as a candidate weakness okay so the method we'll be using is a normal method because you, the weakness of the previous candidate why we surely set questions on it so look at it inability but problems poor problem solving skills especially when it is numerical that's the first thing the one that follows inability to interpret and plot graph correctly eh? are we jotting down please inability to interpret and plot graph correctly just one thing which is graph okay poor choice of scales for graph that's under still under graph before you can plot graph scale scaling now another one inadequate knowledge about thermonic emission that's a topic elasticity that is under young body loss that's another topic okay dimension analysis pn junction can you see it so pressure in fluid, that's another thing. Impulse as related to change in momentum, that's another topic. I've mentioned like four or five topics from there. Another one, inability to correctly draw the magnetic field pattern around the bar magnet, that's another thing. So, under, so we have to study magnetism, that's another topic. Incorrect definition of neutral point load and velocity ratio, that's under uh, work, energy and power and machine, so we have to study that also. Can you see that? So the following are the suggestions, so we don't need the suggestion. Let's go to another year, since we have noted that down. Let's go to another year now. Now, another year, another because the one we checked the other time is for, is for the second series. So now, private candidate first series. Let's check that also. Let's go to the theory. Weakness and remedy. Eh? You can see the following was observed as the following as the candidate's weakness. Poor understanding of formulas and definitions. Do you see that? I have a video on my channel here. Hmm? You can check on it. I have a video that discuss all the formulas in physics that you need to know in order to pass any wire physics. You can check out that uh, video. Now, inability to give application of plaza correctly. You see? So the video I told you, just look up here on the icon here. It will be pumping up, so you can check it. Click on it. So inability to distinguish correctly the differences between intrinsic and intrinsic semiconductor. That's another thing. Inability to handle dimension of quantities. The dimension is part of the first or second uh, topic that you are taught when you started physics in uh, SS1. You see that? Poor knowledge of black bodies. Perfect black body concept. That's another thing. Poor knowledge of relative humidity, effect of expansion of water, and heat transfer. Please be jotting all those topics down. They will surely come out. And most especially, it will be in the compulsory 
uh, question. Inability to apply for this principle in explaining just that uh, tightly closed container when it is brought out to cool. That's cooling. Okay, so an ability to sketch displacement time graph of a plane progressive wave, that's wave also, and the resultant wave, please, very, very important. For two given plane progressive wave, Y1, Y2, you can see, poor handling of calculator or resistivity, okay, capacitance and electric uh, field intensity, they will surely come out. Any error being registered like this, why well, we bring it again? That's just the fact. They will surely come out. So let's check one more year, just one more. Start to 2021 private. So let's go to the theory. Let's see what we have there. Candidate exhibit weaknesses in questions on the fact they analyze this one properly. One, radioactivity. Two, electric field. Three, semiconductor. You can see that. So those are the major three topics for that year, 2021. So three years is enough for us to backtest. All those things I've told you, you can rewind the video, go back again and watch again and jot down, please. It's very, very important. So I will be making videos on other subjects. In this video, I'll be discussing about the 10 major topics and their formulas in physics. For you to be able to pass your work, your own level, there are 10 major topics that work always set questions on in terms of population. So I'll be dealing with those, the 10 topics and the formula. So the first one is measurement. On that measurement, you have the units of measurement. The first one is kg, that's kilogram. That is the SI unit for mass, is kilogram. So the SI unit for length is meters. The SI unit for time, seconds. The SI unit for current is ampere. The SI unit for temperature is Kelvin. And the SI unit for the amount of substance is molar. You have to, you have to take note of this. And the second point that you have to note, as far as physics is concerned, we have the previous. So number of previous. We have the nano. That's 10 raised to the power minus 9. We have the micro, 10 raised to the power minus 6, mini, 10 raised to the power minus 3, centi, 10 raised to the power minus 2, deci, that is decimeter or deciliter, or deci anything, okay? Kilo, 10 raised to the power 3, and mega, that's 10 raised to the power 6. So the next topic, which is the third topic now, is the kinematics. Under kinematics, which is the third one, we have the average speed. Where x is equal to change in d over change in t, and we have the average velocity, that is v is equal to change in x over change in t. Some use s, not x. So change in x over change in t, and we have the acceleration, that is change in velocity over change in t, which is change in time. So what are the meaning of those parameters? Change in d, that is total distance traveled, or area under speed time graph. Change in X, that is the total displacement. Change in T is the total time taken. Change in V, that is the change in velocity. And the velocity itself, and acceleration. Now, we also have the equation of motion. Now, V is equal to U plus AT. X is equal to UT plus half AT squared. V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AX. And we also have V, the velocity of the free fall, falling body which is equal to the root of 2GH. And the meaning of all the parameters, U is the initial velocity, V, final velocity, T is the time, A, acceleration, X means displacement or distance. H means height, and G is the gravitational constant, which is always 9.81 or 10. If you are not given, we take it as 10, but you are given, that's 9.81. So let's go to the next one, which is dynamics. Under dynamics, we have the Newton's first law, Newton's second law, and Newton's third law. Okay? Under that, we have the formula attached to it. Newton's first law, you just need to state the law and know what is happening there. Okay? A body continues to stay in state of rest or uniform motion in the state straight line as long as there is no force. Okay? Sometimes we will say unless there is a force acting on it. So Newton's second law, which talk about the time rate, of force, which is the proportional 
to the change in momentum, okay, which later gave us F is equal to NA. Now, the new things that are called law, which says for every force, object A acts on an object B, okay, object B will assert an equal and opposite force. That is, for every force, there is an equal and opposite uh, reaction, okay? That's that on that. Okay, under it, we still have the resolving forces, okay? We have F is equal to Fs cos theta, and the other, that's F horizontal. Our F vertical is Fs sin theta. And you can see the diagram there. Let's go to the next one, which is the mass, weight, and density. We should always remember, since force is equal to Na, weight is also equal to Mg. Okay, so W is equal to Mg, where the W is the weight, M is the mass, and G is the gravitational strength. So under the other one, density. Density is always mass over volume. And every parameter is stated here. We have, we have the density, we have the mass, and the volume. The next topic is the tonic effect of forces. Moment of force is always equal to force times perpendicular distance, not just a distance anymore. Perpendicular distance that makes angularity with it. Okay? So an M is the moment, F is the force, and D is the distance from the pi force. So let's go to the next, okay? Principle of moment. Under that, we have the principle of moment. We have the anticlockwise moment is equal to clockwise moment. Or we say clockwise moment is equal to anticlockwise. We must not forget that also. So another thing to remember, which is another topic, is pressure. Pressure is always force over area. We have P is the pressure, okay? F is the force over, uh, and the A is the area, okay? So the next one is pressure of liquid coulomb. P is H times density times G. So we have the pressure, the density, height of the liquid, and the gravitational field. Okay. The next thing is energy, work and power. Work done can also be equal to force times distance, which is just like the moment. Force times distance, okay. W is the work done, F is the force, D is the distance and, and the direction of the force. So we have power. Power is work done over time, that is P is equal to W over T. And power can also be force and velocity, okay? So we are the SI unit of work done of power is what? If you put that in our mind, please. So kinetic energy is half mv squared. We are by the potential energy is mgh. And the parameters m is the force, v is the velocity, okay, g is the gravitational pull, and h is the height. So let's go to conservation of energy under energy. Conservation of energy means energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can just be changed from one form to another. So, and the parameter is also there, you can, as you check. So, the next one is kinetic model of matter. You must not forget that. Under that, we have the big gas law. Generally, all the gas laws, please, try to go through all of them, be able to state them, and uh, the equation attached to it. So, this is an example. I think that's a law. We have PV is very proportional to temperature, and later it gave us P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. And generally also it can be P1, V1 over T1 is equal to P2, V2 over T2 as the case may be. So let's go to the next one, which is thermal properties of matters. We have energy is equal to M, that is E is equal to M, C, change in T. We have our C is the specific heat capacity, M is the mass, and change in T, that means change in temperature. Okay, under that we still have our latent heat. And we all know that latent heat is the small amount of heat that is needed to change the state of the matter without a change in temperature. So very small amount of heat. So it is, the that E is ML. Here M is the mass, and L is the latent heat. So we have that of fusion, and we have that of vaporization. Okay. So we go to general wave property. That will be the last topic I'll be discussing as to help you to pass your wire physics. So we have wave velocity. Velocity is always F lambda. V is the velocity of the wave, F is the frequency, and the lambda means wavelength. So we also have wave frequency there, which is always the reciprocal of the period. So you must remember all this, please. Make sure you prepare well and you pass your exam by God's grace. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share with your friends, let them also benefit. And by subscribing and liking the video, I also encouraging this particular channel. Thank you and God bless. So thank you for watching. And uh, I believe you have gained one thing or the other. God bless you and see you later. Don't forget to subscribe as we have said. Bye-bye.